Hey guys, welcome to another episode of our YouTube channel. What we're going to explain today is what class am I going to be in? So for a lot of the kart racers out there, the wannabe kart racers who are searching online, they've got no idea what sort of category they would fall into. So when it comes to kart racing, it's going to be based on age bracket first. So what we've got in front of us here is our cadet category, or in some places it's called the micro class. This package we can see in front of us is suited for six year olds up to about 10 years of age. We're gonna be using an Italian manufacturer with the Vortex engines. They're gonna have 100cc capacity as well. So a push button start for the driver, a clutch. Great for when you're starting out. If these young kids have a spin, totally fine because at least that way they can keep driving and get themselves out of the spin as long as they're not bogged and they continue to drive away. What's really cool is as we step up into the next category, in the Cadet 12 or into the Mini class, still utilizing the same engine, we're just gonna be changing the manifold at the back, and that's gonna increase the diameter, it's gonna let a bit more performance out. So one engine can take you through for about five years, so it's a great starting class, and with our tires, we're gonna be using the Bridgestone compound. So in some states, we're gonna be using a hard compound tire for our club level racing. They're gonna last you five or six hundred laps, if you wish, and then when you get to the national categories, we're gonna be using the Bridgestone again, but a softer compound. So with the softer compound, a little bit more grip, a little bit more corner speed and performance out of that. But with the softer tire, it's gonna wear it a little bit faster as well. So those laps per set of tires might go down to sort of that 150 to 200 laps. Now one of the things that parents might get caught up in when they're reading online is there's a different wheelbase for the cadet carts. So you can get a 900mm wheelbase, so a slightly shorter and smaller cart suited to our really young and smaller drivers. And then you've also got the 950 chassis, so a slightly longer chassis to suit as the kit grows, the kit can then go with that slightly bigger car. There's not really a one size fits all, so if your kid's really small, a 900 cart might be best suited for you to begin with. But as you're getting a little bit taller and a little bit heavier, a 950 cart is the way to go. So we're going to be talking about the junior categories. So for the 11 to 14 age bracket, if you're starting out in the class, you're going to be using an IAMI engine. So it's 100 cc, push button start, and they've got a restrictor in it. So to keep that speed down for less experienced drivers. Now the speeds we're talking about is going to be around that sort of 100 to 105 kilometers, depending on what circuit you are. We're going to be using a Bridgestone hard compound tire. Soft compound for the national championships. As we can show you a bit more around the car, so we're going to have our push button start, which is going to be on the left hand side of the driver. Obviously, with our black button here, that's going to be to start it. The red button there is going to be to stop the engine. So, when you're looking to step out of the restricted class, you're going to go into the unrestricted, so the KA3 category. Still the same engine, so you can take that through all your junior career. Basically, the restricted plate is in behind the engine as you pull off the exhaust. That's where the restrictor is going to lie. That's going to give you a couple of extra horsepower and a little bit more speed on the track. That's sort of more suited to your 13 up to 15 age bracket as you look at the step into the senior category. Okay, so when it comes to our senior categories, there's a few different options that you guys have when you're looking to start off in kart racing. The one we've got here in front of us is an X30 engine. So it's an IAMI built out of Italy, 125cc engine running the Dunlop tyres. So again, uh, a reasonably medium sort of compound tyre, long lasting, very nice to drive on. This engine at the moment is as a restricted form. So uh, if you're starting out from that 16 age bracket, you can be all the way up to 55 years of age and running tag restricted. But this engine here, I am the X30, can also be run as an open performance class. So take the restrictor out of the back, like we've seen in our other categories, and all of a sudden you can go and race in the tag light class and the X30 division as well. So all you're gonna be basically changing is the restrictor plate and then the compound of tire that you're gonna be in. This sort of class is a great starting point for a lot of our drivers. And the tag restrictor class is basically suited for people in their one to two years of racing. It's a great because everyone's at a very similar experience level. So it's a good way for everyone to sort of hone their skills before they look to take the restrictor out and step it up a gear. Okay, so what we have in front of us is also a senior category. So it's a KA100 engine. That's gonna be in the KA3 class. 
This class can compete at club level and go all the way through to national level, so your Australian Car Championships. And basically it's another IAMI product. 100cc engine, push button start. It doesn't require the battery to once on the track. So basically as long as you've got enough charge to turn the engine over, from that point on when you're driving, you're not gonna have any issues if you have a flat battery on the racetrack. Really good class to get into when you're starting out in that 16 and over age bracket because the performance of the engine is gonna take you up to probably about that 115 k's depending on what circuit you're gonna be driving at. So yeah, really good starting point. And then once you get the experience in this sort of category, you can step up and go into the open performance classes with our water-cooled engines. So here we're basically looking at what a KA100 engine looks like. Okay, so behind us we have a four-stroke engine. That's sort of suited to the gentleman races. It's a little bit easier on the body. A 10 horsepower engine, so we're looking at a Terrini. Just a pull start, you can do that from the outside of the car, sit in it, and away you go. So really good for the father and son combination when the father's out the track watching their son or daughter be driving on the track. This is a good way for them just to jump in, get a bit of a feel what the track feels like, and to experience what their kids are also experiencing as well. So these engines, you hardly ever get them rebuilt. They last such a long time. So you can't do anything to them. They're already factory sealed. So it's a good way for the parents to get there and experience kart racing. So there we can see the factory seal. There's your pull cord to start the engine. And we're gonna notice the muffler is a very, very small one that pops out the back. So Torini, 10 horsepower, four stroke engine. All right, so thanks for tuning in to another episode on our YouTube channel. If you guys have enjoyed the episode, please click subscribe and leave us a comment. We really wanna help these newcomers get into the sport of karting. There's a lot of information out there, but it's how to digest what you need to suit you. Look forward to seeing you at the racetrack, and if you're around, come and say hello.